members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and welcome to another Joy of Unboxing. And today we're looking at Abomination, the heir of Frankenstein. Yes, it's by Plaid Hat Games and uh, it looks stunning. It is, of course, based on Mary Shelley's 1818 novel, Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. And as you can see, it looks suitably gothic which is a theme that I absolutely love and uh, it looks like a lot of fun. It's a worker placement game where you run around getting body parts and then put them together and try and shock life into them to create your own creature. So let's have a look inside and see what you get in a box of abomination. Now you can see I haven't used my usual background here. No, this is my workbench. It seems strangely appropriate to have a workbench when opening a box about creating creatures out of body parts, don't you think? Here we go. And here's our rule book, of course, sitting in the top of the box. Game setup. Oh wow, look at all the bits. Lots and lots of bits. It looks good. Got this, yes. Oh, some lovely artwork. Look at that art. Isn't that great? Very nice indeed. Yes, really liking this. Actually, it reminds me of Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, that kind of artwork, kind of grim and gritty. This is interesting. It looks like it's got some story elements as well. There's some paragraphs here, encounter card entries. Um, I didn't realize it had story elements. That adds something to it. Very nice indeed. End of game story. It's alive! Quick reference on the back. Oh, look at this. It's a letter. How nice. What an excellent idea. Just a little letter for uh, thematic stuff. Now, what have we got here? These look like large player boards of some sort. And it looks like I'll be putting some dials in here because these little things pop out. Yep. And you can put some dials there. So everyone gets a very large um, player board where they create their creature. And I think this is where you put the body parts together and stuff like that. I am alone and miserable. Only someone as ugly as I am could love me. Ah oh dear. I've read Frankenstein a couple of times. It's a very interesting book, especially for those of you who haven't read it and have um, all the ideas of uh, the popular culture movies and things over the centuries that have passed since it was written. So it's definitely worth reading because it's actually quite different from all those preconceptions that you have. There we go, more player boards. Okay, oh look, body parts! Excellent! Oh dear, oh dear. Look at this, looks like we've got some fresh ones and some not so fresh ones. And in fact, oh, oh, and some flayed ones. Yeah. Oh, I do like a morbid gothic theme in my gaming. That is great. Now, one of the good things about this game I've read is that uh, your body parts can, of course, decompose. So if you don't put them all together and start shocking life into them as soon as possible, they all start going a bit, well, shall we say it, off. We've got some coins. Very nice looking tokens. Love the colours. Oops, more bits. Um, we've got, oh, this is very nice, event card icons. Nice thick player board there, story track. Oh, I'm really pleased it's got some story stuff in it. That's great. I had no idea. So we've got those. And here's our board. I'll lay that out and show you in just a moment. And then we've got some more stuff. We've got some meeples and cards and resources and all that. So let's look at these. First we have some bags of what I assume are the resources of different types and they're plastic, which is quite nice. There you go. Oh, there's one more. Some very nice custom dice with various symbols on them. I'm presuming these ones are needed to shock your creature to unnatural and unholy life. Excellent. Some little dial divawackies to add your dials to your player boards. Lots of meeples, and I'm really liking these colours. Interesting colours, they're sort of a bit darker than the usual colour. Um, there's some large ones here, like that, and the little ones look like this. Here we have what looks like some reference sheets, completing monster parts. 
I doubt these are all the resources you need to put your monster together. Materials, colour key, attribute dial icons. Lovely. Now we've got a deck of what look like encounter cards. It's various types of encounters and events. Oh, events as well. Student riots, hard times, meat surplus. Ugh. Very good. Look, this is even more thematic than I expected, which is just great. Um, I knew it was a worker placement game, but um, I'm really happy to see such a strong theme. Uh, various encounter cards there. You can see they have different characters on the side there. I think this is the investigator who's trying to track you down and stop stealing bits from cemeteries and morgues and all the rest of it. Um, oh, look, these are the characters. So these must be the characters that you play. Really like this art. Good artist. And uh, it looks like there's some information about the different characters on the back. Then we've got a big deck of very attractive cards of a smaller size. And here we've got cadaver cards, humanity cards, research cards, and scoundrel cards. So, um, oh, look at these. Aren't they great? Very nice. These look like they're on, at various locations. These ones, yep, they've all got a location on the back. And oh, look at these. <laughs> it's great. Various cadavers. Oh, he's not very fresh. <laughs> this is great. Very grim. Love it. Absolutely love it. That looks really good. So um, there's your various dead people. Lots of dead people. Leopold the Vast. And more cards there. Advanced dissection. Oh, I'm really looking forward to playing this. It looks like a lot of fun. Cutthroats. Body snatchers. It's got it all. The Bone Man. Hospital thief. Dog catchers. Fantastic. Absolutely love that deck of cards. And finally, this is the very attractive board. This is, of course, Victorian era Paris, and where you'll be going out to get your body parts and uh, do all your nefarious things as you try and create your monster. And there's all the various spots where you can uh, do your worker placement stuff to get what you need. Very nice board indeed, and again, very thematic. And there it is, my fellow gamers, Abomination, the Heir of Frankenstein by Plaid Hat Games. Plaid Hat Games were very kind and sent me this copy for my review, and also so I could make a rule summary and reference for you. And it looks fantastic. Uh, I absolutely love the theme. Right up my alley, this kind of gothic horror stuff. I think it's great. Um, I've got some other games by Plaid Hat. Um, let me see. There's Bioshock Infinite, Dead of Winter, uh, City of Remnants. I haven't got anything from them recently though, so I'm really looking forward to playing this one. It's got good reports, and uh, as I said, thematically, it looks astounding. So um, that's it, Abomination Era Frankenstein. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks for watching. And of course, I'll be creating a rules summary and reference for this game, as I always do. That will be available on Board Game Geek and the Esoteric Order of Gamers website. It's the Esoteric Order of Gamers orderofgamers.com and of course I'm on all the social media channels and Patreon and if you have a moment please subscribe and hit that all notifications button so you get updates from this YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. It's a